Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 353. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link, and you can download the workbook Excel Magic Trick 353 and 356. Hey, in this trick, we want to see how to type in a date here and retrieve the right season. Now, I didn't know what the seasons are, but I just did a Google search and got the dates, right? And so you could make this however big you want. If When you do this, though, you are going to have to uh, limit what goes into this cell so that it only starts on this date and only goes to whatever the end of the last season is. That way you don't get an error there. But the idea here is what do we do with the date here uh, that, and what do we do here with the formula to look up the uh, season? Well, we'll just use VLOOKUP equals VLOOKUP. The lookup value is a date. Now, what is a date? It's a serial number. January 1st, 1900 is the number 1. January 2nd, 1900 is 2. This is uh, approximately 40,000 or something. So notice over here, we have dates. And these are serial dates. So any date between this one all the way up uh, to and not including 621, any of those dates in between there will retrieve spring. So the fact that the dates are serial number are really handy when you're doing VLOOKUP in this situation. So there's our lookup value. Our lookup table is this. And notice there's one, two columns. The second column is where we want to retrieve our value. VLOOKUP races down here. Right now it's going to see 630. So it'll uh, technically bump into a, the first bigger value and then jump back to this row. And since we want to retrieve summer, we type a 2. Now, uh, pro the last um, argument is approximate match or exact match. We want approximate, but since that's the default, we can leave it off to shorten our formula. Close parentheses and control enter. So there now, when I type in 3 slash 21, it gives me spring. When I type in uh, 10 slash 20 slash 2010, which is all the way down here, it'll give me fall. Now, how was I doing those colors there? Highlight these. I'm going to use the key uh, conditional formatting is uh, home ribbons, styles, conditional formatting, and then down here, new rule. The keyboard shortcut is Alt-O-D. There, I already have three of them, but let's do the last one. We still need winter. We still need winter. So I'm going to click New Rule. I'm going to click right here, Use Formula. Here, I'm going to say, hey, this cell right here is equal to, and then I'm going to pick, uh, say, the first winter. It doesn't matter. I also, instead of picking a cell, I could just type it in, in quotes, double quote, winter. Now, the format, I'll say format. I'll say fill more colors, and I'm going to select this blue. I'm going to go to font. I'm going to go to font white, since that's a value, dark. that's a dark blue. Click OK. Click OK. So now there's four of them. In earlier versions, uh, you can only do three. There, Actually, you can do four with a, uh, a little trick. But in general, there's only three typed in that dialog box. Let's try it. Let's try a 12, let's try um, 1 slash 1 slash 2011. Ooh, um, so that one's not allowed there. Uh, we better go look at that, because really I wanted that one right there. Let's go look at what I did here. Data validation is under data. Data validation right there. I'm going to say Alt-DL. Now, what I did here is I set allow instead of, I've done lots of lists, but you can do date. And then I can say between this date and this date. Now, I said, uh, oh, I have the right days there. So it should be uh, 3-19-2011. And this one right here is a D6. Hey, that should have worked. There's something else going on here. Well, that's always exciting, a problem that we don't know. Look over here on the error alert. This should be 319 and 11. This isn't what caused it, but we do got to fix that. So you can put um, some sort of message here. Let's try that in again. 1 slash 1 slash 2011. Oh, OK, I must have typed in the wrong date. But anyway, that, that was uh, data validation uh, using date between. We had some conditional formatting, and we had a, a V look up here. Let's try one more. Let's try 6 slash 21 slash 2009. And it should come up summer. The V lookup is delivering that. The uh, conditional formatting is delivering the color. And then we have data validation there. All right, we'll see you next trick.